I got to say, I am really excited for the new Indiana Jones. I mean, what an epic character. How can anyone not want more Indiana Jones? Oh, yeah, not that that stupid movie coming out that they think is going to be good. No, I'm talking about this. This is the present toys um, Raider Jones figure. Completely unlicensed. Oh, I'm sorry. Does that mean Disney's not making any money off of this? That's that's terrible. And I, I really feel bad about this like third party purchase that I made um, because Disney's not going to get any money. Lucasfilm's not going to get any money. And this isn't going to count towards Kathleen Kennedy's um, bonus. Uh, but sacrifices have to be made. And at the end of the day, if you're not going to make quality, somebody else will. And when you make quality, people like me buy it. Let's see what we got here. Cut the tape. Tape, my nemesis. Come on. Come on. Always use safety when working with a knife. They tend to be sharp. Look at the packaging of this thing. This is this is from 16kit.com. And these guys do such a really good job with their packaging. This thing is really tight. It was, it's sent in a shipper box to protect the uh, the um, outer box or the inner the display box. It's a little little excessive with the tape, but hey, if it keeps it safe, that's what matters. Okay, here we go. I really like these little thingies, these little corner protectors. Make sure your your box doesn't get messed up. They send you a little card here that you can do the scratch off thing and get a discount. But I have horrible luck, so I'm not going to even try. Well, I mean, I'll scratch it off, but I know it's just going to be a um, uh, thingy that says, thanks for buying with us. But it doesn't matter, because this is reward in itself. There we go. Jones. Let's get the glasses here for the old eyes. Present day... Jones. Ah, Dr. Jones. Once again, we see there is nothing you cannot get that I cannot take away. Beautiful box art. Look at that. That's pretty impressive. Warning. Choking hazard. Not for children under three years old. Actually, I wouldn't, I'd say, like, figures like this aren't for children under, like, 14 years old, because, like, you know, although this wasn't terribly expensive, you certainly don't want this getting damaged. I think this guy was, like, 175. Okay, so we open them up here. Let's take a look at what we got. Now... I do have the sideshow version of uh, Indiana Jones, which at the time was pretty good. Uh, it was one of the best we had. There were some custom uh, figures that went out there with uh, that had better likenesses sculpted of Harrison Ford. For some reason, Harrison Ford has a very, very difficult face to sculpt. I've personally never tried sculpting him, but like, it's just like certain angles, and I think a lot of what it is is that he, um, 
his expressions really bring out his character. So you can make something that really looks like him, but it just sort of has a sterile feel to it. Okay, here we go. Here is the present toys Dr. Jones figure. The first thing you notice is the body is really heavy. It's very sturdy. It's got some ratcheting going on in the arms and the and uh, so he can hold the whip and things and, and stuff. The shoes have real laces on them. It even got some little um, feeling like a, a leather feel to the boots. It's really cool. The belt, look at that. Belt's pretty cool. Got a real metal clasp on it. Here's the, the head sculpt. As you can see, it's like pretty good likeness of Harrison Ford. I think this is actually a bit better than my uh, my sideshow version, which I'll have to uh, gather up and put out here as a comparison. We also have, now we don't have an, an unhatted sculpt, but we do have a sculpt with a little bit of a grin on it. Let's see if I can get this, like, zooming in better here. There we go. Look at that. So he's got that kind of like little, personally, I like my uh, archaeological adventures with a little bit more serious expression, but that's just me. Okay, let's see what else he comes with. He's got multiple hands. Okay. There. He's got a pistol hand. He's got this hand here for the whip. Kind of you know, grippy hands, another grippy hand, so we can use the whip on that one. And this guy here, if I can get it out, come on. Yeah. And just sort of like an open hand for that one. Okay, let's see what else he comes with. There's another tray underneath the main tray. And here's the other goodies. Put this over here. And... This is what I've got here. Got the jacket. Nice little pleather jacket. Which of course has to go on because that's more of the iconic look. Pop the hands off to make the jacket go on a little bit easier. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. And this side, pop. jacket on here there we go fix his collar because this is not the 80s we don't have we don't need to pop the collar there we go present toys indiana jones or raider jones okay see what else he got okay of course we have some of the other goodies in here. If I can manage to get this thing off. It's probably taped. Ah, good. No tape. Because tape is my nemesis. Okay. The whip. <clears throat> Feels like... It's got a wire in here, so it's actually flexible to some extent. Which is pretty cool. Okay. He's got his holster and his gun. Okay, let's check this out. Little magnet attachment for the holster. Closes with a magnetic attachment so you don't have to mess around with any kind of um, uh, 
See, there's the little magnet here. See the little magnet? And that closes like, yeah, like that. Okay. And we'll put on his holster because every adventurer is smart enough to know that sometimes you just need a gun. There's bad guys out there and they'll come at you with swords and, you know, always bring a gun to a sword fight. Your, your odds are much better if you bring a gun to the sword fight. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the belt is actually a little backwards. I have to flip this around. Oh my. Okay. Put that here. Flip the belt around in here, so it's on the right side. Come on. There we go. Because the buckle is actually spun around the wrong way. Okay. So now we go this way. is always tricky. My mother never bought me a Dapper Dan doll when I was little. Okay. Push this through here. It's actually a, an actual functioning buckle. A lot of times these things are just sort of like, you know, fake. You go on there. And it gives a look of a buckle, but it's actually just sort of a, a snap kind of thing. Okay. So we don't have... So I can tuck it in here, maybe. Okay. There's that. And he's got his little holder here for the whip. And he comes with the diary. The Holy Grail diary. I'm going to open this thing up, see if there's any... What? The pages are all blank. Oh, terrible, terrible. Just kidding. It's really matter. Okay. Close that up. He also comes with his, his pouch that you can put important things like, oh, I don't know the, uh, well, all right, maybe I can't put anything in here because it's sewn shut. Now, somebody crafty could probably put a snap on here and make it come together. Might have to do that. Definitely going to have to do that. Okay, because we've got the whip, and the whip has to be kind of coiled up. And one disappointing thing that that sideshow did really well that these guys didn't was the um, on the sideshow figure, the holder for the whip actually opened up, so you could put the whip on the belt like that. I think the fedora is a little too crushed looking. It doesn't quite have the same look as the. Uh, uh, sideshow version but all in all i think it's a it's a big improvement on the sideshow figure um now i know that um i believe that hot toys made a, a version which i did not get um but i think this one will do nicely for my shelf okay so uh oh, one more thing we have the stand there's his base there's jones I just need a little Indiana on there so it um you know we can make it more authentic. And if you wanted there are places that actually sell uh, little vinyl coverings that you can put over top of that that have the uh, uh, more of an official logo or it probably do a, like a cricket or something like that but um uh, overall that's the this is the present toys Raider Jones figure. Um I think they knocked it out of the park for the price of it. This guy was uh, 175, I believe, and so you're you're talking about probably a good hundred dollars less than a Hot Toys figure, and great articulation, good quality bodies, very sturdy, very heavy, and good likeness in the sculpt. The hat, like I said, the hat look it's kind of you know kind of droopy in the front there. Um, I have. Uh, a casting of the sideshow version. 
which you can see is like he doesn't have that droop in the front. But overall, uh, I have no complaints. I'm very happy with this. Um, so if you get a chance and you're looking for a good Indiana Jones figure, then you're if you're not quite satisfied. Like my my sideshow version, uh, the arm is broken on it, so the it doesn't really stay in if the if the jacket's not on. Um, so yeah, I think this is a uh, definitely a step up. Now, being fair, the sideshow version is many years old. Uh, it was one of the first ones they made when they developed the new Prometheus body for them, um, in conjunction with Hot Toys. So it's not like it's a terrible figure. Uh, and as you go along, these companies learn from their mistakes and everybody else's mistakes. So they improve on things that need to be improved on. You know, whereas some of the other companies, they just kind of like, give us your money because, you know, they just expect us to give them our money, which I don't do. I, I am very picky and choosy about what I get and what I feel I, I need to buy. And um, if you think outside the box, if you're not in love with like a brand name and you're just looking at the quality of a product, these third-party companies do a, an excellent job at a much better price scale. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and do all that stuff that the algorithm thingy likes to do, because I don't understand it. But, here's another toy review. Thanks for watching.